Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create different sync disk. Let's say there might be a time that you might need multiple virtual machines, but you don't want to go through the process of operating system installation for every virtual machine. So what you can do, you can just create one virtual machine, install operating system, and use the virtual hard disk for that virtual machine as a parent disk. For this video, I'm going to use server 2012 R2. As we can see, I have Hyper-V Manager console open, server 2012 R2 virtual machine created, the operating system already installed. And what we need to do now, we need to run sysprep command, to prepare the virtual hard disk for this virtual machine to be used as base image for the parent disk. We need to open elevated command prompt. We can just simply right click on start menu and click on command prompt admin. Or we can click on window key and then type cmd and then right click command prompt run as administrator. We need to be on system32 directory. So I'm going to go ahead type cd backslash enter to go back to the root and let's go to windows folder cd space windows enter cd space system32 enter cd space sysprep enter and then we need to run the sysprep command sysprep.exe enter. For the system cleanup action drop down menu, we want to choose out of box experience. If you want to customize the boot up option, we can select enter system audit mode. But let's go ahead and select out of box experience for now. Generalized, it will clear all those generalized information and make it unique. The shutdown option, make sure the shutdown is selected. This will shut down the virtual machine after the sysprep finished. So we can use the virtual hard disk for this virtual machine to be used as parent disk for the difference in disk for other virtual machines. Let's go ahead and click OK. After sysprep finished, it will turn off the virtual machine. As we can see, it is completely turned off. Let's go ahead and close the window. And we can delete the virtual machine from here. We don't need this virtual machine anymore. What we need, we just need the virtual hard disk for it. And the default directory for the virtual hard disk, it will be located on public users. By pressing Windows E to open up Windows Explorer, let's go to the C drive, users, public folder, public documents, Hyper-V, and virtual hard disk. And here we can see server 2012 R2 VHDX. This is the actual virtual hard disk. We can right click, properties, and make sure this is read only, apply, OK. So our parent disk is created. Now we need to create differencing disk. We need to go back to the Hyper-V Manager console. OK, now we have our parent disk. Let's go ahead and create the child disk. We need to click on new hard disk, next, next, and then on this window we need to click on differencing disk, and then click next, and on this window it says specify name and location, where do we want to save our child disk basically, and we can save it in the same location that we have our parent disk, which is C drive, users, public folder, documents folder, Hyper-V virtual hard disk. For the name, let's go ahead and call it the child VHD. And then click next. Now here it says where is the parent disk. We need to point it to the parent disk. So let's go ahead and click browse. And then we can click the main, the parent disk, which this should be also on the same folder as C drive, users, public folder, public documents, Hyper-V virtual hard disk. And then go ahead and click OK, and then click Next, and Finish. 
Okay, so far we did create our parent disk, which when we did the sysprep, that was our main parent disk. And then we did create the child disk pointing to the parent disk. Now we can go ahead and create the virtual machine and use the child disk. We can right click on our computer here, new virtual machine, or when we have the computer selected, we can click new virtual machine. Here we can click next. Let's go ahead and call it server 2012R2. Next. We have the option for first generation and second generation. I'm going to go ahead and select first generation. Next. For the amount of memory, I'm going to say 4096. 4096 megabyte gives us 4 gigabyte. And if you have used dynamic memory for this virtual machine selected, Hyper-V automatically will assign different amounts of memory to the virtual machine based on virtual machine's needs. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it is selected next. And if you want to connect it to the virtual switch for the connectivity, you can select now. If you don't have the virtual switch, you might need to create a virtual switch by going to the virtual switch manager. Since I created earlier, so I'm selecting my external virtual switch and then you can go ahead and click next. Now here we need to select use an existing virtual hard disk and we have to browse and point to the child disk. Open and then next and finish. So this virtual machine we just created, basically it has operating system installed already. If we double click and start, this will go through the finalizing the operating system installation. It is like out of box experience basically as you said earlier when we did the sysprep. This was an example of creating new virtual machine using differencing disk. As we can see, our server 2012 virtual machine is up and running and we just need to perform a post installation task such as IP address, computer name, set the time zone and different settings and configurations. Now if I want to create another server, I can just simply do exactly the same. First we need to create a new differencing disk and point into the parent disk and then we need to create a virtual machine and then on the window where it says for the hard drive we have to select choose existing hard drive and pointing to the differencing disk. So all of this differencing disk will use the parent disk as a main disk and the changes on the virtual machines will only apply to the differencing disk. Using this technique it will allow us to save lots of space on a physical computer hard drive and it will be much quicker to create brand new virtual machine. And it is very practical in the lab environment purposes where you have multiple virtual machines. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching.